graveyard is well kept for someone so isolated. A rusty metal letter. Large black crows are watching me. Is that a crown? Yes, definitely a crown. Thomas Ager. Did Thomas Ager kill a man? Did he know the location of the crown? A rusty metal letter. A pile of rubble, masonry, broken gravestones, covered in weeds and flowers. Nature is taking back what was borrowed. Large black crows. Decorative gravestone. A rusty metal letter. That's not, that's not right. The gravestone is missing letters. Large black crows are watching me. A rusty metal letter. Excuse me, may I disturb you? No worries, lad. You don't disturb me. Strange job you have. Grave digging. Preparing the bed is why I prefer to call it. Why do the crows not come into this area of the churchyard? Them old crows know better than to dwell near open graves. I'm visiting the church. I travelled from Saxton. Well, ain't that something? Run along, lad. Do your visiting. Can you spare me a few moments? I have some questions. I'm rather busy, lad. If I can get my work done, I'll have some time for you. I'll get on with my visit. Whatever be pleasing you, lad. Not long now, we come. A rusty metal letter. Three clouds. A little legend. William Ager. 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 Hmm. A name to look out for. The gravestone is missing letters. Excuse me, may I disturb you? No worries, lad. You don't disturb me. Can you spare me a few moments? I have some questions. I'm rather busy, lad. If I can get my work done, I'll have some time for you. Perhaps I can help. That you probably can. Just say the word and I'll be straight on it. Oh, lad, you are eager. Perhaps you'll be the lucky one. The, the lucky one? Oh, don't mind me. Just speak it out loud. I'm only used to the birds, you see. Damn birds. Black as ink they are. They've taken poor Tom again, taken him, and scared him all over. What do you mean? Taken his name, and scared him all over. If you put poor Tom together again, I reckon I might have a few moments to, uh, converse. Okay, I'll see what I can do. A rusty metal letter. Tom Oliver. So now I know. The gravestone is complete. Tom Oliver. So now I know. The gravestone is complete. Excuse me. May I disturb you? No worries, lad. You don't disturb me. I finished putting poor old Tom back together. That you have, lad. He's looking on you kindly now. I've got more time for your questions, if you have something to ask. Why are there so many crows in the churchyard? They say there's a crow for every soul in this yard. They do. What shall they be looking at you? The bad side of a crow's gate has been known to strike a man down where he stands. Does the name Ager mean anything to you? Agers, is it? I should have known. What have you been wanting with them? Did you know any of the Ager family? 
Yes, I knew him, Edgar. Not personally, but I knew of him. He wasn't, uh, how shall I say this, quite right in the head. A bit simple, if you know what I mean. Oh, this was back in the 1940s. Edgar didn't go to fight. He was sickly. Bad breathing, bad heart, bad everything. They say the family spread their seed too thinly. Deformities and so forth. Was there a connection between the Acres and the legend of the Anglo-Saxon crown? There's talk that those Acres knew the location of that last crown, and I'm guessing they weren't the only ones. People don't go looking for things that don't need finding. The people of the Fens are superstitious folk, you know. They believe in the old ways, the ways of the land. It's best not to disturb them in sleep. What connections do the Acres have with the church? Oh, that's a good one. Thomas Acre was a rector of this parish 200 years past. Odd fellow he was, greedy and deceitful. We ain't allowed to talk about him, to the vicar. He won't hear a bad word against him, but I can tell you there was darkness in his heart. Old Nick knew it. Some say it cost him his life. Poor old Nick. Can I ask about something else? Go ahead, lad. The church is very isolated. Why is that? A great plague. The Black Death. 12th century or A terrible time, lad. Truly terrible. Dead littered the streets and lanes of Northfield. Cal and livestock roamed the country, unattended. Brother deserted brother. Mother deserted her young. One third of the people died, all across Europe. Timber buildings soon run away, and there ain't nothing to show for Northfield. It's the ghost of its former self. Do you believe in ghosts? Aye, that I do. The friends we have in life are still with us. Are there any ghosts here at Northfield? Aye, I'd say so. Old Nick walks his churchyard after dark. He's looking for something, that's for sure. You've probably met old Nick. He's in the church, laid out on his back, poor devil. I be reckoning he's the one you want to see. A word of warning, though. Be careful how you're looking on him. What do you think ghosts are? Well, I never. What a question. I can't say I know. Spirits, maybe? Those who need to move on. There's something they have to know. Or something they want to tell us. Maybe they've got unfinished business with the living. Either way, I don't bother them, and they don't bother me. Can I come back here tonight to ghost hunt? Hunting ghosts, is it? Those who go looking for the dead are asking for trouble. You watch what you're doing. The dead folk in Northfield won't take kindly to any disrespect. But if you're determined, I'm thinking I might leave the doors open tonight and light you a few candles. Can I ask about something else? Go ahead, lad. I'll get on with my visit. Be seeing you, laddie. Be seeing you. The flowers are dry, old, and brittle. Perfect. This will capture any visitors or paranormal phenomena. from the church pews. Close. 
Good afternoon, Vicar. May I speak with you? Oh, very well. If you must, for time and tide, wait for no man. And I've lost something terribly important. I really must find it. Maybe I could help you find it. Oh, bless you, bless you, dear little man. Can you tell me what we are looking for? If I could, I would. I simply can't remember. I just know that I need it, and it's terribly important. Well, where did you leave it? It's around here somewhere. Oh, and again, let me think. Where would I have put something so important? My memory is not what it was. When did you lose it? Ah, I believe I lost it between Wednesday and Friday. Bye for now. Feel free to wander God's house. It's a coat of arms. These panels should have some sort of decoration or carpet. They've been worn smooth. That's all. What on earth is that? This could be all activity. notice board. It appears to be a service plan for next Thursday. Oh dear me, yes, I lost Thursday. I'm always losing Thursday. Bless you, bless you, young man. My week is complete. Oh goodness, I'm late delivering Thursday to the flower arrangers that WI women create the most lovely arrangements. A true symphony of petal, bud and leaf. Take Thursday and give it to Nanny Noah. She'll know what to do. Yes, I'm sure I can do that. I was planning to return to Saxton once my business here is finished. Business? Oh, how very odd. What business? Does the name Ager mean anything to you? Ager? Ager? Hmm. Yes, that name does ring a bell. Let me see. I believe the Agers lived nearby. It's a very old name in these parts, so I wouldn't doubt it. There's a William Ager buried in the churchyard, along with his ancestors. Did the Agers have strong connections with Northville Church? Oh, good heavens, yes. Thomas Ager, who died in 1799, was a rector of this very church. I must say that I am thrilled to find our history so interesting. Thomas Ager was a vicar? No, no, dear boy. He was a rector. There's a difference. Did he worship here at the church? Oh yes, he was a most devout servant. His name is listed on the rood screen by the chancel. You'll find it if you look. What happened to Thomas Aker? It's interesting that you should ask, as there's a whiff of mystery surrounding his later years. He came into a large sum of money, most of which he ploughed straight back into the church. When money is given to such a worthwhile cause, people tend to accept, no questions asked. Did Thomas Aker have a large family? The Akers were a very large family in Thomas's time. Slowly the family number decreased and finally vanished some years ago. William was the last poor wretched soul. He drove himself to an early grave, you know. He was in a terrible state. The 
family line was drawing to a close, and he feared there would be nobody to carry the family name. I always sensed that he carried with him a terrible burden, a secret of some description. Perhaps it was a family secret, passed down from one generation to the next. I dare say old Thomas Acre would have shared the burden in his time. But that is all in the past, and we must always look to the future. Can I ask some other questions? Can I ask you about the church? Of course you may. Go ahead. Who is that in the painting? Ah, that's my great, 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 great... Oh, he's an ancestor, a very old one. He was vicar of this parish for 50 years, back in the 18th century. He knew a thing or two about keeping the heathen masses subdued. I can only wish I shared his talent in that department. I must say, it is wonderful to meet someone of your generation who is interested in our history. What makes you so different? It comes naturally. I've always been interested in, in history. Motivation is always a good thing, no matter what the cause. The devil makes work for idle hands, you know. How long have you been vicar of this church? A very short time. I moved back to this area 30 years ago. I'm still new to the parish. 30 years? I'm 30 years old. Why do people still see you as an outsider? There are families around Northfield with ancestry dating back to the Doomsday Book. I am a very new arrival, you see. Who is the statue of the sleeping man? I have no idea. There are those who know these things, find them interesting, but I am not one of them. That statue takes up valuable church space and is a distraction to the congregation. It is a trial to keep their attention at the best of times. It gives off a strange atmosphere, almost as if that corner of the church was special in some way. Special? I have not noticed anything special. Do you play the violin? No, no, not for an awfully long time. There just are not enough hours in the day. The Lord, in all his generosity, provides ample time for contemplation, but my violin will have to wait. I bet this old church has secrets. Oh dear, you young people are so adventurous these days. Always looking for darkness in forgotten corners, and mystery in your own shadow. But I dare say this building has seen some horrors, mystery and intrigue. They say the building is built upon an Anglo-Saxon sanctuary of reflection, whatever that means. If you are interested in such things, which you obviously are, you should speak with old Russet. You can find him in the churchyard. Can I ask some other questions? I'll have a look around, if you don't mind. Feel free to wander God's house. I think I've collected enough information from here. Hmm. Time to return to town. I think I've collected enough information from here. Hmm. Time to return to town. Good afternoon. May I explore the museum? Of course. That's why it's here. Thanks. I'm Nigel, by the way. Nigel Danvers. How interesting. I'm Oogle. Professor Oogle. The curator of this museum. Is there an entrance fee? Normally, yes. But the museum is free during public holidays. Should I be looking out for anything in particular? Many of our exhibits are unusual or rare. What are you looking for in particular? What can you tell me about the lost Anglo-Saxon crown? Is it lost? Something that is yet to be found is not necessarily lost. 
I'm not sure I understand. If something has remained hidden through centuries of upheaval and mischief, do you really think you have the right to disturb its slumber? Does the name Aegir mean anything to you? The Aegirs lived for many centuries out by Northfield. The family home still stands on Raven Lane. Where can I learn more about them? Here, of course. There are some exhibits with Aegir collections. The murder and the mystery man may well be of interest. Could I borrow an exhibit for a seance or similar experiment? The answer is no. Be warned, our security cameras are everywhere. We can see all. May I ask you about something else? Yes, but do make your mind up. Would it be possible to return here tonight to ghost hunt? Certainly not. Some of our exhibits are priceless. We can't have students running around looking for ghouls and goblins. Is the museum haunted? Faxon has many old buildings, young man, which have played host to many characters. I believe some may be reluctant to leave the homes they once knew. Thank you for your time. It is my job to help. Information is free. But feel free to donate to our fund. Museum skeleton.
Das ist ein Recording. Ein eerie Recording von dem Museum's Noose Exhibit. Questions or something to show me? You were right about the antique shop. 
Oh, Nigel, I told you not to visit. Curiosity killed a cat, you know. Speaking of cats, there seem to be a few missing. Yes, vanished without trace, dratted creatures. Not a feline fan, eh? Oh, not at all. George loathes the things. The museum presented many mysteries. It hides more mystery than it exhibits. Dig deep, my boy. The answers are there to find. As well as more questions, I expect. You were right about the antique shop. Oh, no, I told you not to visit. Curiosity killed a cat, you know. Speaking of cats, there seem to be a few missing. Yes, and it's without trace dratted creatures. Not a feline fan, eh? Oh, not at all. George loathes the things. Can I ask about Northfield Church? Of course, I'll help if I can. I believe Northfield Church is haunted. Oh, without doubt. Who do you think it is? I'm not sure, but all clues are pointing towards the Agers. The Agers? Oh, Nigel, you're going to have to take care. Why? Is there something I should know? Brothers, four of them, all connected to the local churches. Yes, Thomas Agar was a rector at Northfield. Ha! Dark, hearted, easy that he was, nasty man. I'm revisiting the church later tonight. How? It's a jolly long way and there's no night bus. The train tracks lead to carry wood from Sedgemarsh Station. In that case, you must take this charm. I felt there was someone or something watching me from the railway sidings. I know, I know, Nigel. Be careful tonight. I met Mr. Russett, the gravedigger. Wesley Russett is as old as these fens. He talked about the old ways. Oh, did he now? We'll have to talk about that, you and I. Have I done something wrong? No, not at all. You're just not ready for such things. May I ask about something else? Of course. I'll help if I can. Can you take a look at this item? Of course. I'll help if I can. I have this from Northland Church. Oh, goodness. Funeral service? So soon? The vicar told me to bring it to me. Vicar? The North End? That was quick. Oh, thank you, Nigel. Yes, thank you. I shall get trimming and strimming later tonight. Poor evening. Oh, now, now. That's enough chatter for now. Give me your hand. Why? What do you want to do? Page your palm, of course. Come, come. Firstly, Nigel, we shall look at your lifeline. It's this crease here, which runs from the side to the base of your hand. You have the best kind of lifeline, which is strong and clearly marked. This indicates good health and vitality. Secondly, above the lifeline is the second most important mark in the palm stroke. The headline, here, is separate from your lifeline, indicating a logical and direct way of thinking. The depth of this line also indicates you have a good memory, which is always a good thing. Next, your heart line, which is here from the centre finger to the left of your palm. The always begins at the middle finger, which indicates you have a materialistic look upon life and love. These small broken lines indicate you have been unlucky in love. Lastly, your hand is square in shape, very square in fact. This suggests you're a hard-working, dedicated and earthly individual. This is a good sign. It means you have good values and provide much for those you know and work with. This is your first palm reading? Yes, actually. I didn't realise the palm could be so revealing. Was it accurate? Ah, that would be telling. But now, I can tell you it was spooky. Things to burn people for these kind of skills, you know. I know, superstitious fools. Even isolated villages like Saxton were ransacked by witch hunters, angry torch-bearing thugs, and the paranoid religious zealots of the Abbey. I believe innocent people, burned alive, still haunt this town. They're seeking justice for their deaths. A terrible business. Someone being here. 